Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, we will create digital collage art in Affinity Photo. If you search for digital collage art, you'll see that a lot of these collages have a surreal or an abstract aesthetic to them. When creating these types of art, it's all about bringing your imagination to life. Magdia Lopez is a favorite artist of mine who does this type of style. As you see with his work, they're very surreal and he adds gradients in his works. I'll include a link to his Instagram along with a tutorial of his down in the description. The collage for this particular tutorial won't be as abstract as the examples I showed you, but comment below if you would like to see a tutorial on creating a surreal digital collage like in the examples. Here are a few tips for creating a collage. Repeat colors. For example, if you create a color for your background, use that color on the subject of your work too. Images should have a common theme or make sure the elements of the pictures you use match the scene or picture you want to create. Add textures to your collage so it won't look flat. This can include changing the color of images, adding shadows or outlines to images, or looking for textured images to add to your collage. By doing this, you add interest and depth to your collage. Also, mix photos with vector illustrations. The main goal for creating a collage is to combine elements from multiple images together to create a single image or scene. First, go to File New. Select Web. Next, select the Social Media Portrait Post option so you'll be able to share your work on social media. After that, click Create. Now, go to File Open. Select the car image you downloaded. The image will open in another tab. In the new tab, grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Make sure you're in Add mode and that Snap to Edges is selected. Take the brush and select the car and the major part of the heel. We'll also select some of the road. Note, if you make a mistake in selecting something, switch to the Subtract mode. Then go over the selected area to remove the selection. Once you select the area, go to the context toolbar and hit refine. Set the output to new layer. Next, select the new layer and press Ctrl plus C to copy the layer or right click and select copy. Then go back to the tab with our document and press Ctrl plus V to paste or right click and select paste. To resize the image, go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Then hold Shift while you resize your image to keep the properties of the image intact. After that, go to File Open and select the image with the balloons. Go to the Tools panel and select the Selection Brush tool. In the context toolbar, make sure the add mode is selected and that snap to edges is checked. Then take the brush and select the balloons. Once you select the balloons, go to the context toolbar and click refine. Set the output to new layer. Copy the new layer by pressing Ctrl plus C. Then go to our document and paste the balloons, pressing Ctrl plus V on the keyboard. Grab the pen tool from the tools panel. Draw a line from one of the balloons to the car to create a balloon string. Set the stroke color to EBFFA0. -F 
and set the width of the stroke to one point. Do this three more times to make a total of four balloon strings. Select all the balloon strings. Then press Ctrl plus G to group the strings together. Or right click on the selected strings and click group. Now, go to File Open and select the sky image with the chairs in it. Grab the rectangular marquee tool from the tools panel. Draw a rectangle around the sky area. Once you've selected the sky, go to the context toolbar and click Refine. Set the output to new layer. With the new layer selected, press Ctrl plus C to copy it, or right click on it and select Copy. Then go back to our document and press Ctrl plus V to paste the sky image. Next, go to File Open and select the sunflower image. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Selection Brush tool. Set it to the Add mode and check Snap to Edges in the Context toolbar. Now, take the brush and select the sunflower. Once you've selected the flower, Go to the context toolbar and select refine. Then set the output to new layer. Copy the flower, then go to the document and paste the sunflower onto the document. In the Layers panel, drag the sunflower image beneath the car image and above the sky image. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse in the center of the sunflower. Hold Ctrl plus Shift while doing this. Now, grab the Gradient tool from the Tools panel. Drag the line from the top of the ellipse to the bottom. Click the bottom color spot. Go to the swatches panel and set this to the following fill color. Next, click the top color spot and set it to the following fill color. After that, go to File Open. Next, select the image of the beach. Grab the Move tool and drag a guide down and place it so that it aligns with the right side of the horizon line of the beach image. Then, grab the Perspective tool from the Tools panel. This tool allows you to adjust the perspective of an image. Take the top left side of the image, drag this side of the image down until the horizon of the beach lines up with your guideline. Once you've aligned the horizon, hit apply in the perspective dialog box. Then take the move tool and drag the guides back up to the ruler area. Now grab the rectangular marquee tool from the tools panel. Draw a rectangle around the bottom half of the image, including the water and the sand in the selection. Go to the context toolbar and select refine. Set the output to new layer.
Then copy the beach image of the new layer by pressing Ctrl plus C. Then go to the document and paste the beach image by pressing Ctrl plus V. With the beach image selected, go to the toolbar and select Move to Back to place the beach beneath all the other images. Now, go to File Open and select the image of the bird that's looking over the water. Then, go to the Tools panel and grab the Selection Brush tool. Make sure that you're in Add Mode and that Snap to Edges is selected in the Context Toolbar. Then, take the brush and select the bird. After selecting the bird, hit Refine in the Context Toolbar. Set the output to New Layer. Now, copy the bird image from the new layer. Then, go to the document and paste the bird. Place the bird near the bottom left of the document. Next, let's add the ice cream image. Go to File Open and select the ice cream. Go to the Tools panel and select the Selection Brush tool. Take the brush and select the ice cream. Once you've selected the ice cream, go to the Context Toolbar and click Refine. Then, set the output to New Layer. After that, copy the ice cream and paste it onto the document. Place the ice cream in front of the bird and resize the ice cream. Now, go to File Open and select the image of the woman on the donut. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Selection Brush tool. Take the brush and select all of the woman and the donut. Once you select both of them, go to the Context Toolbar and hit Refine. Then set the output to New Layer. Then copy the woman and paste her onto the document. Resize the woman and place her into the water. Next, go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool from the Shapes tool. Draw a rectangle that's 1032 pixels by 1306 pixels. In the context toolbar, get rid of the fill. Set the stroke width to 5 points. Then give the stroke the following color. With the rectangle still selected, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the rectangle, or right click on it and select Duplicate. Set the size of the duplicated rectangle to 967 pixels by 1224 pixels. Then set the stroke color of the rectangle to In the Layers panel, select the Balloon Pixel Layer and drag it above the two rectangles. This will place the balloon on top of the rectangles to make them more visible in our scene. Now, go to the Tools panel and select the Artistic Text tool. Type the word Summer. Then, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the text layer. Hold Shift and drag the duplicated text down. 
double click on it and then type the word time. Select both of the text. Go to the font family and select the clown piece font you downloaded before starting this tutorial. Set the font size to about 131 points. With both pieces of text selected, right click on them and select convert to curves. Then select the T and the I, place them on the left side of the sunflower. Then select the M and the E of the word time and place them on the right side of the sunflower. Set the colors of the text to the following colors. Now go to File Open and select the other bird image. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel and select the bird. Once you've selected the bird, copy the bird and paste it onto the document. Resize the bird image and place it between the words. In the Layers panel, make sure this bird is at the very top of the list. In the image, we want the bird's outer wing to come outside of the rectangles. After that, go to File Place. Select the Wood Texture image. Hold Shift and drag the wood image across the entire document. Go to the Layers panel. Set the opacity to 30%. Then set the Blend Mode to Overlay. Now let's adjust the coloring of the overall image. Go to the Layers panel. Next, select the Adjustments icon. Then select White Balance. Set the white balance to 15% and the tint to 8%. And this is how you create a digital collage art in Affinity Photo. Tag me on Instagram at the Creative Hugza so that I can see your collages. And I'll repost your collages on my story on Instagram. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.